guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial is going to be on a simple, easy, 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 easy summer look uh, with a glossy lid and a sunset ombre lip. I mean, you could totally pair this glossy lid with whatever lip you like. I don't care. I don't care what to pair it with. But this just kind of was the combination that struck me today. I've kind of been in this like neon pink and orange color palette mode lately for some reason. I don't know why. It's totally not typical of me, but I'm just going with it. Glossy lids in general are hard to wear, honestly. Um, they don't last all day just by nature. They are probably not built to last. They're, they're built for speed, not endurance. You know what I mean? but they look really poppin'. So uh, what I'm going to show you today is how I did this version of it, which is like extremely glossy, very, very sticky feeling on the eyes and not the most comfortable thing. Probably this version will last me like two hours to three hours tops. So it's more something for photography or like for a quick event when you wanna look like, oh wow, like cool girl sort of thing. Like it's very, very cool looking and it's very like, ooh. <laughs> However, it just, it doesn't stay forever. I do have a little trick though to do a much longer lasting version, uh, but it's not quite as shiny and glossy. It doesn't have that same glassy effect over it. So, I mean, uh, potato, potato, you know, like you have to decide which version of it is right for you. I just wanted to show you both options because they are both something that I do. They just have slightly different outcomes as far as the look and also as far as the wear time. It just depends on your personal needs. Personally, I fucking love this glossy lid. I have been wearing the shit out of it, especially for photos and stuff. I feel like it pairs with everything. Um, when you do wear a glossy lid though, you need to know that it's not a very precise look. Like the idea is that it's supposed to crease a little and get a little bit messy. Uh, to be honest, that kind of adds to the look just a little because the creases kind of lend themselves to the glossiness, the look of the glossiness, if that makes any sense. Uh, so yeah, if you do wind up wearing a glossy lid look like this, just know creasing is normal and it's going to happen and you should expect it and just embrace it. So I think that's all you need to know before we start. Let's zoom in and get cracking on this glossy lid ombre sunset lip look. For the most part, this shit we're doing today is super easy. So I'm not gonna zoom you like right in my eye, get fucking crazy with it. We're gonna start right here. What we're doing is a nude glossy eye. It looks very bare, it looks very plain. However, you can't actually leave it very bare or very plain, otherwise you're gonna look like a greased up naked mole rat. And that's not the look we're going for, unless this is like some sort of a Halloween look, in which case, I don't know how you stumbled upon this video because I'm definitely not tagging it like that. I can't tell. In this lighting, it's like a little too blown out. Is my nose contour crazy? I guess time will tell when I'm editing. All right, to define the eyeball, I'm going in with an old fave. This is the Tartlet in Bloom palette, and to start with my transition, I'm going to grab the color Sweetheart right here on a Sigma E40 blending brush. I'm just gonna run that through the crease and up toward the brow bone to try to start kind of defining the entire look a little bit. Just add a little bit of depth and dimension and give something for the crease colors to blend out into. We're not going super dark with the colors today, but blended is always better than not blended, regardless of how simple the look is. Next, I'm going to grab a slightly smaller brush. This is the Sigma E38. It's pretty much the same shape, but it's a little bit smaller because I want to get it a little bit tighter into the crease area. And I'm going back into the same palette, but this time I'm picking up a little bit of the color Rebel. And I'm just going to use that to define the crease just a touch. I'm realizing right now that I really need to tweeze my eyebrows. All right, and one more step, a little darker, a little smaller brush. This is the Real Techniques Essential Crease Brush. And I'm gonna grab just a little bit of this color Leader. It's a little bit dark for what I'm going for, but I'm really taking a very minimal amount of it on my brush and just running it through the outside part of my crease. Right, next I'm going to tight line the living bejesus out of my eyes. Uh, not the waterline, just the tight line. 
I'm going to use the 24-7 pencil from Urban Decay in the color Perversion, mostly just because I can't find my Anastasia pencil boy. of the tight length one versus the non tight length one. That's the only difference between those two, isn't that crazy? I'm also gonna grab a tiny little brush. This is a Real Techniques detail brush and I'm just going to run that along the top lash line to blend any of the liner that's kind of smushed around from the lashes. The lash bands will hide most of that, but I just want it to be blendy instead of chunky. And that just kind of smokes out like a little tiny bit of the pigment that's in there from the tight lining um, and kind of just gives a little bit of color to the lash line. I don't want it to be like an overwhelming thing. I kind of do want it to have that sort of like a bare appearance. I also want the lash line to be defined because if I have to edit another video where I feel like there are gaps between my lashes, I'm going to... All right, next I'm going to define the lower lash line a little bit as well. I'm going to basically do the entire eye, including the lashes, except for the gloss and do the gloss last. I highly recommend doing it that way because anything that you do after the gloss is not going to work the way it normally would. So if you are going to glue on lashes, the glue is probably not going to stick on top of it, etc., etc. So I try my damnedest to keep it for the absolute last. Sometimes I do add like a little bit of a highlight shade on the inner corner or the brow bone after those don't seem to be super affected by it, but mostly everything needs to go down first. I'm going to pick up a MAC 217 brush. I haven't used a MAC 217 in a really long time before I got this one because I had two and then I, they were in my kit way back in the day and I just lost them somewhere along the lines. So, man, this shit is really soft and wonderful. I'm just going to run that along my lower lash line. Connect that into the crease just a smidgy. Next, I'm going to pick up that essential crease brush again, and I'm going to dip it into the color Rebel once again. Run that under the lower lash line, just a little bit more soft definition, this time at the bottom. Now that that's down, I am going to run a nude pencil through the waterline. This is the Urban Decay 24-7 waterline pencil in the color Walk of Shame. You know, I just keep doing it. Picking up my BH number six brush. This is from the Rose Quartz collection. I'm gonna grab a little bit of this color Funny Girl, which is just kind of like a pinky shell highlight shade and pop this in the inner corner. This isn't like the most poppin' inner corner highlight color of all time, but the entire thing's gonna be pretty highlighted because it's gonna be glossy. So um, I'm just gonna use it for like a little bit of extra dimension. It doesn't need to be anything crazy. All right, with all of that done, it's time to do lashes and mascara. I am going to just pop on uh, probably something really waterproof like Too Faced Better Than Sex. And I'm definitely gonna wear my House of Lashes uh, iconic lights. I want something light, but also something like winged out to kind of give a little shape to the eye since it's like really not defined and like we did a very messy job. I want it to be something that does that for us, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back. Okay, now that the lashes and mascara are done, we can start adding the gloss. Now, there are two ways that I do this and they have two reasons. They have two purposes, but they also have two slightly different looks, okay? If you wanna do the glossy look and you don't mind it feeling sticky and heavy on your eyes, uh, if you don't mind it only lasting a few hours, then you can do it the way that I'm going to do it here. If you are looking for a way to really truly wear this in real life, I have a huge tip for you about what product to use. However, it's not gonna be quite as glossy as it would be if you are using the gloss products that I am going to demonstrate. But if you want a day-to-day -day version of this that you can actually wear and not have it like break down very quickly and last for maybe more than a couple of hours, the product that I would suggest that you use, this is not an eye product and I also don't have a clear one to show you a version of right now because I ran out of it. 
The YSL glossy stains work so well for this compared to anything else. The reason for that being they are a gloss, but they set. So it doesn't it doesn't set the way like a liquid lipstick would set, but it kind of finishes to like a gel-like consistency. They stay on your lips all day and I have experimented. They also stay on your eyes. I wouldn't say all day, but way longer than a normal glossy eyelid look would. This is the color 107, which is kind of like a nude-ish sort of a pink color. You could actually totally get away with this and make it like a nice glossy eye, but they have one that is um, almost completely clear, like pale pink with a little bit of shimmer in it. I'm not sure what the number of that is offhand, but it is perfect for this look. I have used it before. They also have one that is number 200, which is the only one that's completely clear that they sell. However, I'm a little nervous to use that one on my eyes because it does have a plumper in it that the other ones don't have. So ugh, I don't know. But if you don't mind it only lasting for a few hours, you can do what I'm going to do. I'm going to use the MAC Cosmetics Studio Eye Gloss. And this is the color Pearl Varnish, again, from the Steve and Yanni collection. I've been picking this up a lot today for some reason. And to make that extra, extra glossy, I'm going to go over the top of that with a clear lip gloss. And the one that I'm going to be using is the Glossier one. So with the Studio Eye Gloss, I find that the best way to apply it is with a small, flat brush. I'm going to be using this small brush that, this actually comes with the Mehran Paradise paints, so it's more for like body painting details, but it works perfectly for this. Even a slightly larger lip brush would be perfect for this. So I'm going to dip that into the eye gloss here, and I'm going to put that over the mobile lid, but stopping before the crease. Uh, it's still gonna get up there because it's gonna spread because it's a gloss. However, you don't really need extra product up there, and that is where it tends to gather the most, so just, just helps it last a little longer. And now just to amplify the glossiness of that a little bit, um, I just find that this photographs better. So if you were gonna take pictures of it or something along those lines, this kind of like brings it to that next level of that wet glossy lid look. And also the MAC Studio eye glosses are like extremely sticky and this is actually less sticky. So it makes it feel a little bit more comfortable on the eyes, even though it actually is a bit shinier, but it's not as thick. So you can't really use it over the whole thing. You need the combo, that's what I'm trying to say. going to just blend the edges of the gloss into the surrounding shadows by just tapping my pinky finger along the edge and like just diffusing the edge of where the gloss got set down. For the lips, you could really do anything you want with this, honestly. A nude lip, an ombre lip, a black lip would look so cool with this. Um, just a simple clear gloss on your lips too if you wanted. Really anything that you want to do, it's uh, the world is your goddamn oyster with this shit because although it is different and interesting, it's still really, really simple. So you can really get away with any sort of lip look with it that you would like. I am going to do a nice bright summer lip and I'm going to do an ombre effect, but not ombre this way. I'm going to do ombre this way, sort of like a sunset sort of a dealy. For that, I'm going to use the NYX Lip Suede in the colors Orange County and Pink Lust. I'm going to carve out the top lip with a brush and then I am going to fill in the entire bottom lip. Then I'm gonna fill the top lip in after and kind of to get the ombre effect in the center. You'll, you'll just see what I do as I do it. I can't really talk while I do it though because I need my lips. And this is the finished look. And that's it. That's all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it because that really helps me out in the scheme of things. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave because that means that we can be friends and see each other twice a week and talk about makeup and all kinds of fun stuff. And it would make me happy. 
Go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what types of looks you'd like to see. Are there any reviews that you'd like to see on this channel? Uh, any techniques that you're interested in? Let me know. Just say it down below. Not that many people ask me for stuff, so odds are if you do, I'm going to do it. Don't forget to follow me on social media. I'm at Miss Quinface on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. I will list that everywhere, but it is the same as here. Go ahead and check me out on Instagram because I post new photos every single day, usually a new fresh look every single day. Sometimes I do little mini tutorials over there and the lip art has been popping lately if I do say so myself. So go say hello, uh, leave me a like, give me a follow, say hi. Uh, I don't know what else you could do over there, but if there's something to do, do it. I think that's it for today. I think I ran out of things to say and I'll see you in the next one.